so this here I finished installing the application or creating the application so I will cd into it learning nest then I will open it in Visual Studio Code you can type you can do this by writing code and that, that means the current directory and they initialized uh, a get repo for us which is nice anyway okay so this is it okay i uh, i had to stop the recording and start it again and anyway but uh, I, I want to show you something uh in post women uh since it's hosted online it's a normal website um it can't access your local host okay so uh w which which means uh you you might use a proxy for it or you might allow the that this website to to access your local host by sending an by sending an http request uh you can do all that it did not work for me but uh, i found a much simpler solution solution uh it's called uh, an agrok which uh, it's basically uh public URLs for exposing your local web server yeah that's basically it uses uh, a protocol called uh, the tunnel protocol uh, so if you go to and um, to download and download it it's available for windows and mac as well i have i'm on ubuntu i think i yeah, obviously but yeah i'm on ubuntu i already downloaded it X extract the downloaded uh, contact and put it anywhere you want so i put it inside uh, in my desktop so here it is it's an executable so you run it like this and here you pass arguments for it to run anyway uh, so this is what we left off from from the start from uh, the start of the video but we can to okay so to run i was just running the server for this chess i was just trying to test some things but how we can uh, run the server if you go to package.json this is where you usually see the um, the npm commands defined for your project uh, so inside the scripts object so you have pre-build you have build when you want to deploy everything you build it uh, here, when you, here we when you want to test the production build when after you build everything and the environment will be built and uh, here we have npm run start so that it will just compile the code and run a small server for us uh, but this the problem it's not problem but the behavior here does not uh, rerun the script when you uh, rerun the building process and uh, the serving process each time you save a file so we for that we want to use the npm run start colon dev so each change we do it will immediately get reflected so we don't need to stop the server and rerun it again so npm run start dev this will compile everything and watch for the changes so this is good but in which in which uh, host in which port this uh, app this api will uh, run if you go inside source inside main so this is the port i think uh, I, I will show you how we can create a .env file for our environment variables and replace the port the database connection and all of that i, I will show you how but not now but here is uh, the function that creates the uh, instance of uh, nest and this is the port okay so localhost port 3000 let's just let's just test it if i go to chrome and go for localhost 3000 we have hello world how does that uh, how does that works okay so we have a controller most uh, most data most uh, backends uh, frameworks have uh, the idea of a controller controller is just a class will map the routes to a functions we will define so in nest usually you have you have i think you have a lot a lot of freedom of what you can do but in general what we the approach is you create a controller you create a service to the controller so the controller will maps the routes the the routes that got hit by each request to a function which will call a function from the service so as you can see here this is the uh, the first code you, you see after you generate a uh, generate an application so we have the app controller injects using the dependency injection 
the app service, this one. And when you send a get, I think you notice, when you send a get request, the get hello function will be executed and will return the get hello method from the app service, which return hello world. That's why we say hello world. But why, why does it activate? When you hit the, I, I didn't type any route. This is the default. This is just the link for the API. I didn't write anything here. Because this happens because you did not provide a string here which defines the route. This is how we define a route in NestJS. In the next video, I will show you exactly how we can do this and manipulate it. But now it's just, uh, if you don't define a route here, it will just work when you, ever, when you hit the, default, the root route. Okay, which is, does not have anything. Just the link for the API. Okay, so this is out of the way. The, uh, we can't access. I, I, I also installed Postman as uh, PWO in, inside my machine, so it's uh, I can access it from here. So even if I close it, the icon stays here, and I can open it. In Chrome, you can basically there is an install button will appear here. You can just install it. It's really easy. So okay, but, ha but you can't access localhost from here. This is the issue. So uh, I show you an Grok because I think. It's, but I think it's a good uh, opportunity to see this tool. It's, it's not very famous, but it's really useful. I I, I always use it. Um, you can also use uh, Postman. I didn't use it because I, I think I will stick to Postman. Since I said it in the first video, I will stick to it. Uh, and also this tool is gone. So Angie, Ang Angrok, how we can tell it to expose port 3000. So we type HTTP and the port. So I want to expose the port 3000. And it will give us a link, a public link for this port. So this port, uh, this link will will forward the request to our local host. So if I go here and I open new tab, enter the link, I will see hello world. So now in post women, I will put the link here. I'm not sure if this is uh, this is um, clear to see. I will convert it to white. Okay, but I prefer the dark version. But anyway. Uh, when you hit send, I, I added the link here, the public URL. So this is the response, the hello world. So yeah, this is how we can test it with uh, Postman. I did all the, all of this just for the WebSocket at the end. Uh, anyway, uh, this this link will be available for only eight hours. That's something to remember. Uh, you can also use Postman. I'm just just trying to learn new things. Okay.